In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a PDF ebook cover design. So, if you have an email opt in and you want to ask your users for an email address and then send them a PDF download, um, it's a great way to collect emails and generate leads. And um, using an image of the ebook is also a great way to get more email opt ins. So, to do that, Let's say you don't have Photoshop skills, you can use a tool like Canva. So what you can do is go to canva.com and go ahead and sign up. And here is the ebook cover that I created and I'm gonna show you how to do that with no Photoshop skills, it's all free. You can download the image and then use it in your email opt-in. So once you have uh, signed up for Canva, it should take you to a dashboard screen kind of like this. Now what you can do is click on explore templates and then you can look at a lot of different template designs here. Now they have a lot of different things. They have uh, full ebooks where they actually do layouts of all the pages for you. All I want is just the cover. So what I'm going to do is click on, um, let's see, book covers. And you can just browse all these different categories. I clicked on business. And there's some pretty cool ones here. And I'm going to choose this one because it's a nice simple cover. And I think it'll work well for what I want to do. Go ahead and click on edit this template. Now what you can do is just click on the image here and change the text. So for me, I want it to say Hollerbox. And then I'm going to say tips and tricks and then I'm gonna say um, features and customizations for generating more leads with holler oops, holler box okay I can also click and change the color the background color so let's say I want to make it gray. And I don't know what this little heart thing is, but it's not my logo, so I'm going to take that out. What you can do is actually grab an image from your computer and drag and drop it onto the screen here, and then it will show up in your designs or, or in your uh, uploads. So I've already done that with my logo. I'm going to go ahead and place it here. And it's pretty cool. It actually shows you where it's kind of center aligned and everything. And I want to get rid of this image of the phone and the text here because that doesn't work with my design. So I'm going to go ahead and delete that and then I'm going to use another uploaded image for the bottom there. So, you know, I can move some of this stuff around if I actually hold shift while I'm selecting these, I can move it down and then put my logo up towards the top. And looks pretty good. So I'm going to now download this. Click download. So you can download it as a PDF or a JPEG. I'm going to download it as a JPEG for now. Okay. So I'm going to save that. Now you could upload that to your site and use it as it is. Let's see, I'll get a little preview over here. So this is what it looks like. Pretty cool. You could just use this image to um, in your email opt-in and say, hey, give me your email, I'll send you Hollerbox tips and tricks. Um, you can also combine it into a PDF and make this the first page of the PDF. Um, you could also give it some three-dimensional design to make it a little bit more appealing. And I'll show you how to do that real quick. If you go to placeit.com, uh, sorry, placeit.net. Uh, you'll see that there's actually a way to drag and drop some mockups. And if we type in ebook 
cover. Let's see what comes up here. Um, you have to click on who found results in apparel. For some reason, it's the eBooks are in apparel. Don't ask me why. So you see that there's a few images of eBooks here. If we click on one of these, we can actually um, just drag and drop our cover image onto this. And you'll see a little crop screen. So I'm gonna zoom in a little bit so that it's cropped nicely. Click on crop. And then you'll see I have a pretty cool little image of a book that I can actually use in my uh, you know email opt-in. So I can also click on, if I click download, so place it is not free, it does actually charge you for this. If you want a free way of doing it and you are good with Photoshop, you could go to a site called psdcovers.com, psdcovers.com. They have a lot of, uh, if you click on the book tag, they have a lot of different ways, uh, book mockups, and what these are, Photoshop actions. So you can actually download the action and use that action in Photoshop to create these covers for free. Um, if you're not good with Photoshop or anything like that, you are probably going to have to pay something to get it done. Um, place it's pretty reasonable at eight bucks. There's also a few other ones that you can do, um, although I haven't experimented with all of them. So that is how to create an ebook cover in Canva and place it. And I'll see you in the next video.